You are one of many legislators that have worked on this issue for decades. The state has faced the issue for decades because it didn't want to come into constitutional compliance. And if you look around this body, you'll see the state's diversity. Suburbs, city, downstate. That's the beauty of this body. Today is a historic day in the state of Illinois. We are all a part of it. When I came here, I never thought I would debate these types of issues that carry the full faith and credit of the people of the state. When you look about geographic differences and diversity, which we celebrate, we are all under one constitution, which provides us equal protection under the law. So the people of Chicago should be treated no differently than people in Addison or Carbondale, Murfreesboro, Peoria. So what happens next? Let's assume we don't pass this legislation. Let's see what constitutional carry potentially looks like. On June 9th, do we want people who are untrained and unqualified carrying firearms around the state? I don't. Constitutional carry could look much more stringent than this bill. I have no doubt that the nine justices of the Supreme Court could potentially decide that. What if they decide that it's open carry and you can carry anything? Would we be prepared to draft that piece of legislation? I've had constituents on both sides of this issue think that this bill is wrong. I have some of the most fervent supporters of the Second Amendment tell me, do not vote for this bill. It's wrong. I have those who do not like handguns whatsoever tell me not to vote for this bill. So what is the alternative? I'm not sure. We know that we are within a few weeks of the Seventh Circuit telling us what we should do instead of us doing what we're supposed to be doing and what we've been sent down here to do. In committee, one of our members, an esteemed member of the bar, asked about where the county of Cook was, the city of Chicago, and all entities within Cook County where they were at. Their silence was deafening. Not one slipped in opposition. That doesn't mean they're not opposed. We preempt home rule in this body all of the time. This is the one time that I don't think local control should prevail because we need one standard. I represent the town of Bartlett, which is in a couple of counties. Why should residents in the Cook County side be treated differently than those in the DuPage County side? There's been people opining about what the working group looked like. Let me tell you what the working group looked like. We're individuals who have spent weeks and years either in this body or debating this issue. You had veterans, you had law enforcement personnel, you had a diverse group of legislators geographically. And I think that we debated about 58 amendments on this floor, which the speaker and the members of that working group took into full consideration. Let me thank Brandon Nemec and Ben Riddell, two able-bodied attorneys who I know spend countless hours into the wee hours of the morning crafting and drafting this. For those of you who are new here, I can tell you that this process was not taken lightly. There was give and take on both sides. Unless we have a committee of the whole on every bill, and that every person will be directly heard from. That doesn't mean that this bill does not consider your intake. This bill has been debated for 25 years plus. But what we haven't had is, a con is the Seventh Circuit telling us what we should do. I can guarantee you that maybe four years ago when I was more or less a freshman here, that many people on both sides of the issue 
complete your remarks, sir. Thank you, Speaker. Would have been more than glad to accept the Senate's version of a May issue and carving out different counties and communities, but that train has left the station. There are those who are purists who don't like this bill for the same reasons the anti-carry folks don't like it. So at the end of the day, we are faced with this bill. I don't like every provision. That's what trailer bills are for. That's what next year is for. That's what other general assemblies are for. But we have to put this infrastructure into place. We need to tell the people of the state of Illinois that we are going to protect their public safety, that we respect the Second Amendment, that we respect the courts, and that we're doing our best to implement what we think is the appropriate framework in which to make sure that if we have concealed carry, it is done with restrictions, with appropriate training, and appropriate safeguards. I think this bill does that. I would urge and I vote. I'd like to thank everybody here who's debated this issue on both sides because I have a profound amount of respect for each one of you because I spend that same amount of time away from my family as you do. And I understand that this may not be popular, but it's the right thing to do. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.